It is spiffy. Thank you. All right. Are we ready to do this thing for real? Got a bunch of new people in the crowd. I want to get the, get the quick sound check out of the way. Let me hit, let you hear one more really good scream before we roll. Okay, it feels good now. I actually had a whole monologue planned, but I'm gonna have to like abbreviate it because I've got some really important news. I'm gonna beg you that you do not over heckle me during this because we've got some, we've got some actual news tonight. I said, well, you can heckle the rest of the show as long as it's me, not the performers. But just let me, let me have this time together. Can we do that, yes? Yeah. All right. So here's, and we can mock the hat all you want. I like the hat. And she likes that, but everybody else is gonna mock it. So here's the deal. Uh, I posted out on my personal status, and this is the thing I'm, uh, I'm bridging down really small. I, uh, I crashed and burned on a set of stilts about a week ago for the first time. I am not looking for applause. I, I just wanted to point out that I'm okay, because a lot of people sent me phone calls and emails, they're like, are you all right? And I was like, yes, I was surrounded by amazing people who took care of me, I was wearing really good safety care gear that was bought by people who love me, and I was trained by people from our community who kept me safe the entire time. So I'm not dead, and I will be getting back up tomorrow night. Okay, that, that story now packed up, that, that's like just the, the little opener. Here's the news. So. Um, Monkey, Marie, TJ, and I did a little gig over the weekend, so I didn't get back in until really late. And sitting on my desk was my mail, and I'm like, you know, quick shuffle my mail before bed. And sitting in my mail was an envelope from Monaco. Now, I want you to set the Wayback Machine to last April. How many people here know what World Circus Day is? Okay, for those of you who don't, I'm gonna have to run through it one more time. Princess Stephanie of Monaco is a big fan of the circus, and she created the World Circus Federation, which turned around and decided to host an annual World Circus Day. So this big event went up, and it just happened to coincide with this little event we throw called Spin Fest. And we said, why yes, we're a large circus organization, and we would love to fill out two days worth of paperwork in order to be listed. And amazingly, we got listed. So that was kind of cool. And so we held our event. We had like 98 people show up, and that was awesome. 103. I'm sorry, 103. 100 and, 103 people. Okay, we'll fact check it later. We're drinking now. We gotta, we gotta keep moving. Okay, so, and that was awesome. And we got like our, our name on the map and, and on the website, and we thought, oh, that was really cool. And we had a really great day out at the park. I actually wasn't there, but I showed up at the tail end, and I got to be a part of the after party. And... Last this brings us up to last night, and I opened this envelope, thinking yeah, it's probably a little thank you letter. They said they're going to do that, and there's this magazine, it says Planet Circus. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Open up the cover, World Circus Day, around the world, 37 countries, blah blah blah. Start turning pages, Argentina, blah blah blah. I'm looking for USA, and I turn the page. And as it should be, the very first thing I see is Ringling Brothers. Let's give a shout out to Ringling. You guys know it, they're a classic American circus, they're good people. I scan down, there's a little family circus. I scan across the page, there's another little family circus. And I scan up to the right side of the spread directly next to Ringling Brothers, and I see a picture of Valos. Where the hell is Valos? Where is he? He's, he's back there. The face of creative motion. Now then, his mug next to a description of what both the Circus Freaks and Creative Motion are all about and a link to our website. I'm going to scan all of this in, but, and it'll be online tomorrow-ish, I hope, but this guy right here is the face of your community. So... One, it's on you now. We're all gonna take a day off. And two, let this be a cautionary tale to standing in front of a camera at an event. Do you have anything to say for yourself, sir? They put me next to Ringling Brothers, really? Hold on. As I've discussed with Russ before, I've always thought that it was the job, the obligation of a clown to point out the absurdities of life. They succeeded. 
they did it for me. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna try to get a couple more copies of that. We'll definitely have it up on our website, but we are officially a little pin on the map. And the thing about that is, no matter what we do from here, no matter how bad we screw up tonight, there's a map with a push pin on it and dangling from it is a note. And this is the cool part that said, invite to next year's World Circus Day. I will see you all in April. We will be talking soon about doing something, shall we say, slightly larger. <laughs>